Did you know that among the sands of Sudan, an ancient civilization was more advanced in mathematics than we ever realized? This isn't the stuff of science fiction, but the historical reality of a people known as the Mero. The glimmering dunes of Sudan were once home to the city of Mero, a metropolis of the Kushite kingdom that thrived between the 3rd century BC and the 4th century AD. The Kushites were renowned for their architectural prowess, their resilient society, and their unique writing system. But what's truly astounding is their sophisticated mathematical knowledge, a facet of their civilization that's only recently come to light. Mathematics, the universal language of logic and order has been instrumental in the evolution of civilizations. From the Sumerians' development of a counting system to the Greeks' exploration of geometry, ancient societies utilized mathematics to solve complex problems, map the stars, and construct architectural marvels. Yet, among these mathematical luminaries, the mathematicians of Moreau stand out. Recent archaeological finds have unveiled an astonishing truth about this ancient civilization. The Meroe, it appears, had a profound understanding of mathematical principles that was far more advanced than previously believed. Their mathematical system, which included a unique numeral system and complex calculations, was ahead of its time, rivaling and in some aspects surpassing the mathematical prowess of their contemporaries. This discovery paints a new picture of Moreau, one that challenges our understanding of the progression of mathematical knowledge. Far from being a peripheral player, Moreau emerges as a hub of mathematical innovation. Its people, not just consumers, but creators of advanced mathematical concepts. So next time you think about the great mathematicians of yore, remember the mathematicians of Meroe, their story is a testament to the boundless potential of human intellect and the enduring enigma of ancient knowledge. As we continue to unravel the secrets of the past, who knows what other surprising revelations await us? This discovery reveals a profound understanding of mathematics that was far ahead of its time, hidden for centuries within the kingdom of Mero. While the Greeks and Romans are often hailed as the fathers of mathematics, the mathematicians of Meroe were quietly making their own groundbreaking discoveries. As we delve into the sands of time, we find ourselves in the ancient city of Meroe, the capital of the Kingdom of Kush, present-day Sudan. The mathematicians of Meroe, in a world dominated by the Roman numeral system, were pioneers in their own right. They developed a mathematical system that was remarkably advanced for its time. This unique system, a blend of mathematical and linguistic sophistication, allowed them to perform complex calculations, rivaling the capabilities of their Greek and Roman contemporaries. These Kushite mathematicians, like the architects of the pyramids, were masters of geometry. They used their mathematical prowess to build structures with precision, a testament to their advanced understanding of angles and proportions. Their knowledge wasn't confined to the theoretical realm, they applied it practically from determining the best time for planting crops based on the cycles of the Nile to charting the stars across the night sky. But what set the mathematicians of Mero apart was their numeral system. Unlike the Romans who used letters to represent numbers, the Kushites used distinct symbols for each numeral. This system, which allowed for easier calculations, was a precursor to the positional numeral system we use today. Their mathematical system was not only unique, but also comprehensive. It encompassed fractions, multiplication, division, and even the concept of zero, a mathematical concept that was not widely recognized in the Western world until much later. The mathematicians of Meroe were not just number crunchers, they were the philosophers of their time, exploring the abstract world of numbers and shapes and applying their knowledge to practical tasks. Their contribution to mathematics was a testament to their intellectual prowess and innovative spirit. In a world dominated by the Roman numeral system, the mathematicians of Mero were pioneering a system of their own. They were the unsung heroes of mathematics, their achievements echoing through the annals of time, reminding us that knowledge knows no boundaries and innovation has no single source. The mathematicians of Mero developed a system that was strikingly different from the ones we're familiar with today. Now, let's dive into the unique mathematical system of Meroe, which was an epitome of complexity and sophistication. The Meroitic script, the writing system of the ancient kingdom of Meroe, was one of the earliest systems to use numbers for mathematical calculations. Unlike the decimal system we use today, which is based on tens, the Meroitic system was non-positional and used different symbols for 1, 10, 
100 and so on. This system was both ideographic, with symbols representing ideas or concepts and phonetic, with symbols representing sounds. The Meroitic mathematicians were adept at handling fractions, an advanced concept for that era. They used a unique method of representing fractions as sums of unit fractions. For instance, three-fourths would be represented as the sum of one-half and one-fourth. This approach might seem slightly perplexing to us today, but it was a testament to their ingenuity and mathematical prowess. Moreover, these mathematicians possessed a profound understanding of geometry. They could calculate areas and volumes and their knowledge of Pythagorean triples, sets of three positive integers that fit the formula of Pythagoras' theorem, is indisputable evidence of their mathematical sophistication. The Meroitic mathematicians also had a keen sense of practicality. Their mathematical system was not just theoretical, but was applied in fields such as architecture, astronomy, and agriculture. The precision and symmetry in their architectural structures and the accuracy of their calendars are ample proof of the practical application of their mathematical knowledge. However, despite its complexity and sophistication, the mathematical system of Meroe didn't stand the test of time. It gradually fell into obscurity, overshadowed by the mathematical systems of other civilizations. But like a phoenix rising from the ashes, it was rediscovered centuries later, providing a fascinating glimpse into the intellectual prowess of the ancient Meroitic civilization. This system, as intricate and detailed as it was, fell into obscurity, only to be rediscovered centuries later. The legacy of the mathematicians of Mero is a testament to the richness and diversity of human knowledge. Unraveling the threads of this ancient civilization's mathematical system has been like deciphering a time-worn tapestry, filled with intricate and beautiful patterns of understanding. The discovery of Miro's unique approach to mathematics has not only expanded our knowledge of this once dominant civilization, but it's also challenging our understanding of the historical narrative. The rediscovery of Miro's mathematical system has had a profound impact on our understanding of history. It reminds us that the story of human progress is not a simple linear narrative, but a complex tapestry woven by countless civilizations, each contributing to the sum of human knowledge. This is a story that's often overlooked, especially when it comes to the contributions of ancient African civilizations. The knowledge harnessed by the mathematicians of Meroe was not isolated, but part of a larger tapestry of scientific understanding that spanned the African continent. From the great pyramid builders of Egypt to the astronomers of Timbuktu, the continent has a rich legacy of mathematical and scientific achievement. The rediscovery of Mero's mathematical system is a crucial piece of this puzzle, helping us to recognize and appreciate the diversity and richness of Africa's scientific heritage. The legacy of Meroe also underscores the importance of preserving and studying ancient knowledge. Each lost civilization, each forgotten language, and each overlooked mathematical system represents a lost piece of our shared human story. The rediscovery of Miro's mathematics serves as a reminder of the value of this ancient wisdom and the importance of safeguarding it for future generations. The story of Miro challenges our perception of history, shedding light on the often overlooked contributions of ancient African civilizations to the world of mathematics. It's a testament to the diversity and richness of human knowledge, reminding us that every civilization, no matter how distant or obscure, has something to contribute to our collective understanding. The mathematicians of Meroe are a powerful reminder of the untapped potential that lies within all of us. The story of Moreau is not merely a historical tale of a forgotten civilization. It's a narrative that resonates with the human spirit's vigor and creativity. The mathematicians of Mero, tucked away in the sands of Sudan, were not anomalies. They were a product of a society that valued knowledge and innovation. A culture that understood the power of numbers and the beauty of equations. They did not have the internet calculators or even the modern numerical system. Yet they made strides in mathematical understanding. This tale of Meroe is a testament to the incredible diversity of human intellectual achievement. It underscores how knowledge and innovation are not the exclusive province of a select few cultures or regions but are truly a global human endeavor. The mathematicians of Meroe stand as a stark reminder of the vast wealth of knowledge that can be lost when we fail to look beyond the familiar narratives. They remind us of the countless unsung heroes of intellectual progress whose contributions have been overlooked, forgotten or dismissed simply because they did not fit neatly into the dominant narratives of history. 
The message of Meroe is a call to action, a call to recognize and celebrate the diverse and often overlooked contributions to human knowledge. It's a call to broaden our perspectives, to acknowledge that every culture, every society, every individual holds the potential for great intellectual achievement. So let's not forget the mathematicians of Mero. Let's not forget the countless others who, across time and space, have pushed the boundaries of human understanding. Let's strive to uncover more hidden gems of human achievement, to celebrate the diversity of human thought, and to recognize the potential that lies within each of us. In the sands of Sudan, we find a powerful testament to human ingenuity, a story that compels us to look beyond the familiar narratives and discover the hidden gems of human achievement.